All right, take two. Here we go. All right, so right now I am in my classroom and I am um, working with some of the young people trying to teach them how to do T-shirts and stuff. They're using Canva. I've been walking them through some stuff. So what I wanted to do today was to go through um, one of my write-ups. So on Kaumba, I created a write-up, but I actually created it on Ujama night. Why? Because the principal of the month, and the month is March, the principal of the month in the school is the principal of creativity. So I wanted to talk with the young people about creativity. Now I got to do it with second through fifth grade, and I got to do it with kindergarten, but I didn't get to do it with middle school, so I wanted to lay this down for those in middle school who wanted to get a piece of the information. Um, because I didn't get to go through it with any of them because some, you know, it's kind of rough with middle schoolers. They, they, they know a lot. They feel they know too much or they too big for some stuff. So I have to skip and do it. Come on, baby. All right. Now, those of you that's in the class that are taking it serious, you don't really have to ask me to go to the bathroom, especially if you're working on your stuff. You need to go to the bathroom. Just don't take advantage. That's all I ask. Now, so back to what I'm doing. So the title of this show was Let There Be. Now, I got that, of course, from, from some holy writ, um, where in the beginning of the universe, uh, the creator says the term, let there be. So what I was trying to do was get to, do, to create a connection between the idea of the creator and connecting it to the students in a way where they could get an idea that they have the ability to create. And also those who that's listening, you have the ability to create. You have the ability to, and I'm not just talking about taking some paper and gluing it together. I'm talking about being able to actually do something that matters, do something and create something that brings values, value to people's life. So I titled it, Let There Be, Seven Ways to Create the Life You Want. So those of you, those of you that are new to Chiame, let me go on and, and, and hook you up with um, how we do it. First things first, I want to give you the proverb of that day. Uh, the date was 311-22-6. And the proverb of the day, just to get your mind jumping off, writing prompts, if you are doing the Nguza Saba Challenge, you, got, you can get the Nguza Saba Challenge handbook. I'll make sure there's a link for you so that you can go and get it. The proverb of the day was a raindrop does not spare the head of the notable. Okay. The folk teller today was the dog, the fox, and the cock. A real good story. Go and get the lesson. Now, so here we go. Let there be. We have the power to create our lives. Our creativity, for, for those of you on the journey, our kaumba is a tool that will build us up and help us achieve the possible when we take the time to learn to use it properly. Unfortunately, many have allowed their creativity to be hijacked and used by others or have allowed themselves to be mastered by creativity rather than mastered by it. Now, the idea behind it was that our creativity is a tool, it's a weapon that we could use to build our lives, to protect our lives, or it can be used to destroy or attack us. And for many of us, we have surrendered our creativity, or we have surrendered, surrendered our creative abilities to other people, to outside forces. The very force that connects us directly to a creative power, we have allowed to be manipulated and used to destroy us, rather than build us up, to destroy our communities. Because, of course, you know, those of you that's been around me long enough, you know that I'm always talking about the tribe. So with the tribe, what happens is, or with, with the community, because right now, a lot of us, we're not functioning in tribes. We're functioning in dysfunctional communities, right? And in that dysfunctional community, we have created an environment that makes it very hard for any of us to rise up because our creativity is being directed outside of our community. It's being used to 
do it up others. And those others are using the finances they get from us to continuously destabilize us. You know what I'm saying? We constantly run into it. We run into, run into it into, in the education system. Because for some reason, we think that if we just have enough money and no money is a problem, the problem will disappear. Rather than us using our creativity and using it to bring our children into to the level of, of knowledge that they need to be. We even bring ourselves. We're not using it in our communities. Right? We're selling it out to others. In a sense, we are creative mercenaries. We go out and we create things for other people. The ability to create is an innate trait of divine being. This means that you came with it. It came, it came with you when you were born. That the be is a statement of creation in our universe. We must learn to use it in our life and in the life of our tribe. Our goal is not only to create a life that we love, but also be able to assist others in accomplishing this feat as well. This can be done through our thoughts, emotions, and actions. When we conduct our, when conducting our mind, heart, and hands in such a way that we work together in harmony with each other, this will allow us to gain mastery over our life and create the life we want. You know, in my practice as a self-mastery coach, in my job as a, a tribe leader, um, a, a tribe, a tribal elder, um, at least in Giamma, one of the oldest ones in Giamma, and being a founder of it, um, I have to operate um, in a way where I am trying to get people to use their creativity to build their lives rather than destroy it. Um, but here, let me go real quick. Hold on, hold on for the lead, because as soon as you open that door, it's going to go crazy. Here are seven ways to tap into your creativity so that you can create the life you want. Know your purpose. Each of us have to take the time to figure out what our purpose are so that we know that know why we were put down here. Once we know why we were put down here, it's easier for us to, to direct our life energy, our eyes straight into our creativity. We have to develop trust within ourselves. We've got to start trusting ourselves and trusting our abilities. Many of us are in doubt of what we could do. And the only way we think we can do it is if we are certified by others, doing things for others. We need to learn to listen to our gut. Stop being pulled from the outside. Start learning to listen to our gut, our, uh, what's going on inside. Become part of the solution. Number four, we need to become part of the solution. We need to become individuals that are working to solve problems. We need to look at some of the problems, and we need to start coming up with solutions, using our creativity to solve some of those. Number five, open the door to our creativity. Many of us are, in a sense, hiding our creativity because we want to fit in with those uncreative souls, not realizing that we are limiting ourselves. Number six, we want to eliminate fear, right? Many of us are scared to use our creativity. We are embarrassed by our creativity. We, we don't want to use it. And the last one is learning to connect with others, which is what we do as far as tribe building. The universe belongs to us. We have the ability and the resources to create what, whatever reality we choose. The consciousness that guides and directs us toward our highest good provides everything in abundance for those who are willing to cooperate with this creative power of, um, of um, or Kumba. Our responsibility is to make a conscious choice towards good while not allowing the fear-based stories to paralyze us. Um, thank you. Yo, um, I hope you got something out of it. Um, I am out. Peace. All right, fam. Uh, thank you all for. Hey, did anybody anybody finish the shirt?